talented young Yankee boys. String their torsos up and use their dicks as toys. Nuke every US city. Blow them to the sky. at their eyes round up every US citizen all except the Jews take that lot to Israel and wipe that lot out too and then get all the Vietnamese that were napalm to death and everyone from El Salvador and Cuba Chile and the rest and say, look, the Yanks are gone, the world is once again free, no more napalm, no more CIA, no more wounded knee, and when they are all celebrating, nuke the fucking lot. And there'll be lots of jelly and gasoline in every baby's cot. And then load an M16. Give it plenty of feeling. Put it to your temple. Blow your brains on to the ceiling. What happened? This is serious mum came in and did things to us. <laughs> I can't explain any further, Molly. It's beyond my, my comprehension. They all had things on their heads, like little houses. All I know is that we're swimming in it. Oh, There's violence on the television and letter bombs in the mail but things can't be all that bad cause Darren Hinch went to jail Famine eats up children the peace talks they always fail but things can't be all that bad cause Darren Hinch went to jail you might have double malaria the doctors look at you they go pale but things they can't be all that bad when Darren Hinch goes to jail Christ himself on the cross told the guy who banged in the nail mate things they can't be all that bad when Darren Hinch goes to jail don't you know I can take Ronald Reagan I can take Mission Bagan I can take tetraplegia I can take total amnesia. I can take black spiky hair. I can take germ warfare. I can take chases and inflation. I can take hyperventilation. I can take total bowel dysfunction. I can take nuclear destruction. I can even take 
Mike Lula Senior. Well, at a pinch, but one thing I cannot take is Darren fucking Hitcher. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Terry Rowe, slave to the economist. shits me. Even shit shits me. But they don't shit me. One tiny, eatsy, weetsy, minuscule, macroscopic, nanoseismic, panty, significant, zoophytic, neo, non-existent bit compared to the way. Ah, shit me! Whoa! I may be one of all men. I'm the best. Even if the world had value, I'd still give me a shit. I may be one of all men. I'm the best. Ron Hedler Barassi from TISM interviewing Chris from The Breakfasters. Chris, what do you think about that? Um, tricky fly, licky tie, binga binga rumna bing tosis. Watch out! Nature is the first cause. The fundamental creative principle in all activity, but the function of a system is to provide the degree.
Susie, what do you think about that? Well, obe ye fran lika, 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 manini, kwatosis. Well, I Talk to anyone these days, and you know, it seems, eventually they'll tell you about some heavy scenes when they were living with a druggy friend. You gotta look real serious, or at least pretend. While with a reverent or like they're reading a psalm, they tell you about some jerk poking a needle in his arm. And dramatically conclude, you know, the guy was a freak. But it's the eighth drug story you've heard this week. Well, I knew a guy, he tops the lot. He wasn't on heroin, crack, or pot, but it was worse than anything out of monkey grip. He did the happy marriage in suburbia trip. You know, I still don't know how this guy never got busted for being so incredibly well adjusted. While we were all shoving chemicals up our nose, he was out in the garden with a watering hose. At first, only small things began to go wrong. He wouldn't turn up when we were having a bomb. But sooner than later, things began to fall apart. He'd take his girl out regular, eat a la carte. He'd look healthy and happy. It was like an alarm. He was collapsing like the veins in my arm. I'll never forget that terrible night. Oh, God above. When he told us he was very much in love. Oh, so they both bought a house. There was no turning back. They got into it the week that I got into crack. His face was never so ravaged with addiction as the week he showed me his brand new kitchen. I'd sometimes go round there with a cap or two of horse, tell him, kick the habit, get a divorce. Your wife's pregnant again, I'd plead. This'll make three. If you have another kid, you're sure to OD. But he's not even listening. He's in some delirium. His wife's doing the dishes and he's begun clearing them. I love my kids. I'm happy, he'd say, satisfied. But don't you know, on the nappy, he was crucified. He's dead now, of course. Needless to say, family wiped off by a drunk going the wrong way. Oh, how many times has it been written, said, or sung that if you live monogamous, expect to die young. So you can get into crack, smack, dope, or speed, but don't take marriage Cause this is where it'll lead You'll experience real happiness Both physical and mental And if you die It'll be purely accidental Till you get
get to that bitumen stain It runs between two road highways Happy people trapped in its invidious single lane If you're behind a truck or freighter Say thank God for the Marty Halleck road duplicator Ghost Who Talks is speechless, ladies and gentlemen. about that. Uh, Grebo, Yebo, Reti Po Haleb, Kral Fantic, Rantic, Mania, Mmm, Binqua. Was a fine young man, though possibly a bit of a dandy. But when it came to writing things down, you know, you know, you know, it was pretty handy. Yeah. 
Any comments, Jeremy? Yeah. Christmas. Chris Labas. Chris Atzis. Chris Labal. Grabble Fable. Definitable. Johnny got home and he went to bed. Johnny went out to do Melbourne May. Johnny got rid of being a doctor. Then he died after happy but boring Christmas. Stay home. Home, Johnny, home. Stay home. Jimbo, boy, you're a crock of shit. You're a boozed, selfish thug. Why don't you give your mouth a go? And in the other hole, put a plug. By Christ, you've got a long, long way on a schoolboy's talent with words. One crappy bit of symbolism and you're adored by an army of turds. You're a selfish, rude, arrogant prick. You're basically pretty stupid. You're Mr. Sism's a lump of shit. And so are all the girls you've rooted. So don't talk about being sad and lonely or fucking misunderstood Cause underneath that self-pitying phony is a selfish, brutal hood I support the police that took you off stage I support the fact you bled I support the cops who carried you off I support the fact you're dead I think that you're a troubled guy And I think that's nothing new I think your fans are a bunch of turds Almost as immature as you and when I'm in my supermarket And some prick pushes in front of my trolley I'll be reminded of your stinking bravado And I'll ask the cunt to say sorry Your fans would excuse every rudeness Just cause it comes from you You'd tell them to go drop dead and they'd say Oh, how true, how true, how true You need a nine-to-five job, Jimbo You need to get to Flinders Street by train Go and find yourself a regular income Then you can write a song about pain Try and save for the kiddie school fees Take some care when you drive a car Put your goddamn rubbish in a bin You fucking great rock superstar You have spawned a host of cocksure shits That are nearly always filthy rich And think, cause they're a little bit like old Jimbo They can act like stinking pricks An army of brainless 
Great Trucking Songs of the Renaissance, recorded January, March 1988, Platinum Studios, Trees Studio, The Venue Melbourne, Radio 3RRR FM Melbourne, Victoria. Tism know the following people obey the Ted Commandments, the most beautiful economist in the world, Richard the Crusher Vomit, Action Gregors, and The Slave to the Economist. The Ted Commandments. Ted Whitten, Ted Nugent, 
Ted Heath, Ted Kennedy, Ted E. Bear, Ted E. Roosevelt, Ted E. Boy, Ted Hamilton, Ted Little Niggers. This is Serious Mum have left the building.